And we're back. <laughs> right now, I want to get into some of the awards and some of the people who I thought, you know, we're just doing it at the party. I mean, at the fashion show. Um, I want to start off with best hair. I can't really, you know, just pick one person for best hair. I'm going to actually, you know, just say a couple names. You know, make sure everybody's acknowledged for their, you know, beatness at the party. Um, best hair I have to give to Abria. She did her own hair. I love it. Just the short part with the curl and the bop and the boop and the Halle Berry look and the Rihanna look. I just love it. Um, she also did that herself. So if you need your beat whipped up, call Brie. Um, because she does wonders with hair. Also, I have to give hair to Felicia. I love the Nikki Bangs. Boop, boop, wah, wah, wah. I love it. Tinga ling a ling. I love it. Um, yeah, just it's hot. Um, shoe. I have to give shoe game. Best shoe game goes to a number of different people. Um, but if I had to pick one, I'm going to have to say Romisa because those shoes were beats. And I told you this at the show. Those shoes were hot. So, best shoe, I would have to say Romisa wins that. Um, also, Abria, I love those shoes that she had on. Deidre, I also love those shoes that you had on. Who else shoes did I have? I saw Pavi's shoes. I saw your shoes at the house. Those were hot. Um, and Aisha said that you have, you know, had on five different pairs of shoes in the last three hours. But, shit, I would too. If I had a whole bunch of cute shoes, I'm finna wear them. But, um, I guess that'll be it for shoes. Um, best... Dressed, male, of course, goes to me. Um, I was beat, um, had on the little light blue with the little bop and the little woo 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 and the little shoes, the new pumas, whatever. Um, so that obviously goes to me. Um, I didn't really see a lot of dudes. I mean, I did, but I wasn't really looking at them to see how they were dressed because I was only worried about my outfit. So, best dress female. I can't really give that to anybody either, but everybody was cute that I saw. Um, Pavy, I love that cardigan. So if I had to give best dress female, it's going to Pavy because that cardigan was cute. Um, let me see who else was best dressed. Of course, Abria, Felicia, Faith, Tashina, all the Aisha, Monica, Chels, everybody. Y'all all were good. Um, let me see what other topic. It was some other it was some other thing that I wanted to say. Best shoes, best dress, best hair. Moment of the night. The moment of the night, it could have been a number of different things, but there was one moment that just took the show. Stole the show. Okay, and I want to paint this picture for you vividly. So you know, picture perfect. Who I also, I think I gave a shout out to in the last show, but shout out to Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect, who, you know, does their little routines and all that good stuff. You know, they had a segment with the men. You know, they came out with no shirts on, with their little pajama pants. And, you know, they were coming out to the slow songs, Penny Dropper, um, some other good songs. So, you know, they jump off the stage and, you know, proceed to go find them, you know, a little honey dip, a little, you know, chicken, a chicken a crowd. So, you know, bring up there and shimmy a little bit for her, you know, give her a little wah 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 show. And, you know, everyone, you know, got them a girl. I guess, you know, they looked around in the crowd and they, you know, I want you, I want you, I want you. So, you know, they get up there, they sit, you sit the girls down, you know, the girls all, <laughs> I wish they could see my face, but okay, I'll take the dance. So, out of nowhere, and I mean nowhere because I wasn't I just didn't expect this to happen. You know, a dude, one of the alphas, the ice cold alphas, came up on stage and, you know, proceeded to get his girl. And, you know, he... The fuck? Get your ass off the stage. He was mad, y'all. I knocked my glasses off because I was mad. And, you know, she got up and she... Oh, why you do that? And, you know, she walked to her seat and he, you know, he... The fuck? When I tell you that was the moment of the night, that was the moment of the night, y'all. He went up there and got his girl. And I ain't mad at him. Y'all women say, y'all looking for a good man. That's a good man right there. He ain't want his girl doing nothing. He wouldn't approve of. 
Just like she, if he probably would have went up there and some girl with her big old pajamas and shaking them in his face, she probably would have been mad too. So I ain't mad at him. Y'all ask for a good man, women. Y'all, I mean, y'all ask for a good man, women. There he go. He went up there and got his girlfriend. He's the fuck. I ain't mad at him, y'all. I ain't mad at him at all. <laughs> but when I tell you that was the funniest moment of the night, he wins fun. He wins person of the night. Even if he didn't win any best dress or worst dress or whatever. Person of the night. Moment of the night. The Golden Globe for that. Y'all. When I tell you that was the funniest shit that I've ever seen in my entire life, y'all. That was some funny shit right there. But yeah. And that pretty much is the Fashion Police. That's my review of the Zeta Fashion Show. Um... I hope I gave everybody who I promised a shout out a shout out. Um, if I didn't, I'll go through the line right now. Abria, Faith, Felicia, Tashina, Monica, all the Zetas, Aisha, um, Twiz. Um, oh, you know what? And I wanted to also talk about something else. You know, I had went to the Zeta house afterwards. You know, to you know chill with them and you know laugh and you know mingle and stuff like that. And, you know, an individual who, you know, I thought, you know, we were done with this person from a past show. And you know what show I'm talking about if you go to Western. But anyway, you know, I had, you know, he had came over to me and he's like, you know, some of my bros, you know, they've been saying, you know, I think they're okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to just tell you what he said to me. You know, some of my bros, they've been saying, you know, I think that nigga Daryl gay. And I'm like, I don't know if you are, but I think you are. And, you know, that's cool with me. You know, you do your little thing over here and I do my little thing over here. You know, we cool. We niggas. We niggas. We niggas. And stuff like that. You know, I was mad at first. I'm not going to lie. I was a little perturbed. A little, you know, ticked off. <laughs> but then I thought about it. I'm like, you know, for one, he's drunk. For two, he's drunk. And for three, he's drunk. So, you know, I let it go. But I just don't understand. And I don't remember if he said one of my boys or some of my bros. And if he did say some of my bros, I just don't understand why y'all would want to talk about that with each other. Unless, you know, you guys want something. And I'm not saying you do and I'm not saying I do because I don't. I have something. <laughs> don't worry about who. <laughs> but I got something. <laughs> Gotta keep that on the down low. Too many people know my business on this campus. Yeah. But anywho, I just, you know, I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna, you know, get mad or anything like that. I just don't understand why. That was the point. And if your friends tell you that they think I'm gay, they're idiots. They think. You don't know. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Biggie Small said it best. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Papa. But anyway, um, yeah. That was my weekend. It, it still was fun, of course, even after, you know, that little situation, I was a little ticked off, but whatever. You know, I look past it. But yeah, that is the Dero Bitchy Fashion Review, Fashion Show Review, and Fashion Police. Shout out to everybody who loves my show. I was really thinking about canceling it, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep going. And, you know, hopefully my numbers get up there. Hopefully you guys start retweeting my show, you know, putting my show on your status, putting my show on your page, whatever you can do to help. And if you don't, I mean, that's fine. When I make it, don't come calling for some Benjis because I'm going to have them. Trust me. Um, and those of you who do, you know, support me and love me and help me, I'm going to be making it rain on y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, that's me, Daryl Bitchy, signing off on yet another show. We have um, Q Week. This week and beta week, I think next week or the week after that or something like that. So we're going to have a couple funny shows coming up. And I hope you're ready for them. And if you're not, you should be. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time on the Daryl Bitchy Show.